The city of Jerusalem, crowded at all times, filled to overflowing during the annual feasts of the Passover. Travelers from all the lands of Israel thronged to the great temple. The mighty courts resounded to the blaring ram's horn trumpets. The smoke of burning offerings ascended from the altar. It was to this same temple that three decades before, Joseph and Mary had brought the infant Jesus for the sacred rite of dedication. It was within these vast courtyards that in his boyhood, he had impressed the scribes and the sages with his wisdom and understanding. Here he had returned in the early days of his earthly mission as an unheralded teacher unknown except in his homeland of distant Galilee. It was through the streets leading to the temple that the people had hailed him in a sudden, spontaneous accolade, shouting, Hosanna, Hosanna to he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hail to Jesus of Nazareth, the King of the Jews. And it was here that he had looked upon the outer courtyard, upon the vendors of sacrificial animals, the sellers of oils and incense, the changers of currency, and had turned away with tears in his eyes. On the following day, Jesus and the Twelve came from Bethany and entered the temple. Oil, 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 Excellency, what shall we do? Hmm? Do? Let him pray. Yesterday he had half of Judea at his back, and he turned away. And the people saw that he feared us. Now let them see that we ignore him. Yes, Excellency. Eight is all that is worth. Eight and no more. Do exactly you think you know the value of Gentile coins better than I do? There are eight pieces. Take them or I'll call the gods. The people are curious, thoughtless, fickle. But remind them of the authority of the temple. Keep it ever before them. Nazarene. You shall not make my father's house into a marketplace. Is it not written? My house shall be called a house of prayer for all the nations. But you have made it a den of robbers. Caiaphas? Here. Isaiah has returned. The Nazarenes in Bethany dining with his disciples, surrounded by a horde of followers. Isaiah mingled with them, pretended to be one of them. He reports that they're saying that Jesus is a prophet, the son of David, the Messiah of Scripture. Uh -huh. They're saying that a wealthy woman thrust into where he was seated at table and anointed his hair with rare oil as though he were already a king. Do you think he'll lead a revolt against us? I think he has. Yesterday, he entered the city to a thunder of cheers. Today, he stormed the court of all nations, defied my authority, openly, brazenly. And 
tomorrow. Tomorrow? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> well, they, they've changed things around since I was last here. Changed? Used to look like a stockyard. <laughs> Bullocks and goats, sheep and pigeons for sacrifices. Money changers tables over there. They were there until three days ago. New young teacher, a man from the north, drove them out single-handed. One man? One man. To be exact, that man. Jesus Bar Joseph from Nazareth in Galilee. You know he's a man of courage. Well, I wouldn't call the money changers a valiant sort of enemy. Oh, I don't mean just for baiting them, but for having the nerve to come back here. He must realize that the high priest can stand no such opposition. Uh-oh. What's wrong? There go two Akai up his closest aides. Let's stroll over and see what's happening. This was the Lord's doing, and it is marvelous in our eyes. We know that you are true. And do not regard the position of men, but truly teach the words of God. Is it lawful to pay taxes to Caesar or not? A very choice trap. If he says pay, the entire crowd turns against him. Don't pay and I arrest him for treason. Well, come, teacher, answer. Should we pay them or should we not? Why put me to the test? Because of your great authority and wisdom. Show me your coin. Whose likeness and inscription is on it? Why, Caesar's. Render unto Caesar the things that are Caesar's, and unto God the things that are God's. Disgusting, contemptible. You should be cast out of the temple. Banned from it forever. And make a bad situation worse. If we let him go on, everyone will believe in him. And the Romans will destroy both our holy place and our nation. I fear Pilate's troops less than I fear the people. They love us little enough as it is. And less every day that they hear the Galilean. But acting against him would only inflame them. We can never justify such an act to them. That I know. You know nothing. You do not understand it is expedient that one man... One man should die for the people. Not that a whole nation shall perish. I agree completely, Excellency, completely. If it were not that he had so deluded... Well, I certainly have no love for him. Excellency! How is he called? Judas, Excellency. Judas Iscariot. And the upper room of an inn had been prepared for the feast of the unleavened bread. My children, I have earnestly desired to eat this Passover with you before I suffer. For I tell you, I shall never eat it again until it is fulfilled in the kingdom of God. Jesus. Truly, I say to you, one of you will betray me, one who is eating with me. Is it I, Master? Surely none of us betray you, Master. Who could it be, Master? Oh, no, Rabbi, I couldn't be. No, Master, no. It is one of the twelve who is dipping bread with me. For the Son of Man goes as it is written of him. But woe to that man by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. It would be better for that man if he had not been born.
what you are going to do. Do quickly. Blessed art thou, O Lord, our God, King of the world, who dost bring forth bread from the earth. Take. Eat. This is my body, which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Blessed art thou, O Lord, our God, King of the world, who has created the fruit of the vine. This cup is the new covenant in my blood, which is poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Truly I say to you, I shall not drink again of the fruit of the vine until that day when I drink it new in the kingdom of God. Little children, yet a little while I am with you. You will seek me, so now I say to you, where I am going you cannot come. A new commandment I give to you, that you love one another, even as I have loved you, that you also love one another. Lord. Why cannot I follow you now? I will lay down my life for you. Will you lay down your life for me? Yes, Master. Yes. Even if they all fall away, I will not. Truly I say to you, this very night before the cock crows twice, you will deny me three times. No, Master, no. If I must die with you, I won't deny you. We will not fail you, teacher. You know that I love you. Depend on me, master. None of us could betray you. No, no. And he went out, as was his custom, to a garden named Gethsemane. Wait here while I pray. Come with me. My soul is very sorrowful, even unto death. Remain here and watch.
Father. All things are possible to thee. If thou art willing, remove this cup from me. Nevertheless, not my will, but thine be done. Could you not watch with me one hour? Watch and pray that ye enter not into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. The master. Behold, the hour has come. The Son of Man is betrayed into the hands of sinners. Master. Judas, would you betray the Son of Man with a kiss? That's the man. Seize him. Not to the temple that Jesus was taken, but to the home of Annas, where a small portion of the Sanhedrin prepared to hear him and judge him. It's high time he was taught a lesson, flaunting all authority, starting a near riot on temple grounds. Riot? What riot? Hmm? There could have been bloodshed. The day he led that howling mob to the very gates. And he attacked the merchants, the money changers, the sellers of doves and lambs. Oh. Oh, yes. Sacrilege. There's no question about it. I'm ready to find him guilty now. There's little doubt that he's deserving of punishment. Let us, however, wait and see what the hearing develops. There have been rumors that he has set himself up as a king. An act of treason against Caesar. Our concern, of course, is not with that, rather with his blasphemies, the false prophecies, his attempts to mislead the people. If, however, we should learn that he is guilty of treason against Rome. Then it would be our duty to turn him over to the procurator. Stand there. Now, what have you to say of this man? Why Most noble, noble excellency. I was in the court of the Gentiles, and with my own ears I heard him say he could tear down the whole temple, all of it, in three days' time. That is not quite right, Your Excellencies. What he did say was that if the temple were destroyed, he could build another like it in three days, with his bare hands. Oh, he said he could tear it down, not rebuild it. I was as close to him as you were. I heard what he said. Enough. You may go. waste time. These fools don't even have sense enough to agree. Nazar and I told them. Ah. Jesus of Nazareth, step forward. You have heard the statements of the witnesses. Have you no answer to make? What is it that these men testify against you? I adjure you by the living God. Tell us if you are the Christ, the Son of the Blessed. You have said so. 
But I tell you hereafter, you will see the Son of Man seated at the right hand of power and coming with the clouds of heaven. Blasphemy? Why do we still need witnesses? You've heard his blasphemy. What is your decision? Guilty. Guilty on all charges. He is blasphemed. Guilty? Guilty. 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 As the day dawned, Jesus was taken to the palace where the procurator was staying. Those who escorted him, having already purified themselves for the observance of Passover rites, declined to enter the abode of a Gentile. Pilate, awakened before his accustomed hour, was in a surly mood. Good morning, Your Excellency. If a matter weren't of such urgency. Hi. We regret urgently having interfered. But it will only take a moment this of This your... man you've brought to me, of what is he accused? He incited the people to riot in the very courtyard of the temple. Why, he even claims to be the Messiah, the Christ, the Son of God. He encourages his followers to hail him as the king of all the Jews. These affairs are yours, not Rome's. Take him. Judge him according to your laws. We have, Excellency, and found him deserving of death. All we ask is your endorsement of our findings. If he were not guilty, we wouldn't have brought him here. Wait here. And Pilate questioned Jesus, seeking to find if there was truth to the charge that he had plotted to proclaim himself a king. Are you a king, then? You say I am a king. To this end was I born, and for this cause I came into the world, that I should bear witness for the truth. Everyone that is of the truth hears my voice. Truth? What is truth? I find no fault in the man. But he has stirred up the people. Yes, he's spoken to the king, the king himself. All over Judea, from here to Galilee. From Galilee? Is he a Galilean? Yes, he comes from Nazareth. Then he comes under Herod's jurisdiction, not mine. Centurion. Yes, Your Excellency. Have the prisoner taken to the Tetrarch. But Excellency, well, 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 you will wait until for a moment. And Jesus was brought before Herod. And Herod demanded that some sign or miracle be done by him. But Jesus answered him not. And the priests and the scribes stood by, vehemently accusing him. And Herod and those with him treated him with contempt and mocked him. And arraying him in a tattered robe, jeering him as a pretender who called himself a king, they sent him back to Pilate. So Jesus was once more brought before the procurator. You brought the man to me as one who incites the people. I questioned him. I found no fault in him. No guilt in the things of which he was accused. No, nor did Herod. The prisoner's done nothing to merit death. I will have him chastised and then released. No! No! Whipper, you've done enough! Yes! Do away with it! Kill him! As he was flogged, brambles were taken and woven together. at the prisoner whom the crowds had hailed as king, the guards placed a crown on his head, <laughs> a crown of thorns. You 
you have heard how many things they have witnessed against you. They say you call yourself the Son of God. Who are you? From where do you come? Why don't you answer? Don't you realize I have the power to release you or crucify you? You could have no power at all against me, except it were given you from above. Therefore, he that delivered me to you has the greater sin. If you release that man, you are no friend of Caesar's. I bring him before you so you may know I find no fault in him. Behold! It's a man. By custom, as at each Passover, I will free a prisoner to you. Will you have me release for you the King of the Jews? What then shall I do with Jesus called Christ? innocent of this man's blood. See to it yourselves. Release Barabbas. And upon insistence that he be crucified, Pilate delivered him to their will. Saved in betraying innocent blood. What is that to us? See to it yourself. This is Jesus, the King of the Jews, read the sign. And it was on Golgotha, at the third hour of the day, they crucified him. While he hung on the cross, those who persecuted him came to mock him. You're the Son of God, come down from the cross. Father, forgive them. Father, know not what they do. You are the Christ. Save yourself. You not fear God? You who are condemned? You and I are condemned justly. We have received the due rewards of our deeds. This man, he has done nothing wrong. Jesus, 
Lord. Remember me when you come into your kingdom. Verily I say unto you, today you shall be with me in paradise. As the hours wore on, the skies began to darken. He still lives. By the sixth hour, there was darkness over all the land. The seventh hour passed, and the eighth. My God. My God. Why have you forsaken me? Seabaking audience. The man Joseph, an honorable counsel of Arimathea. Well, speak up. What is it you wish? The body of the man Jesus, that I might give it decent burial. Is he dead already? Yes, Excellency. Are you related to him? No, Excellency. One of his followers who cried him king? No, Excellency. But you are a counselor and a Jew. Yes. Then what interest have you in the man? Your high priest found him guilty of sacrilege and blasphemy. Your people demanded his death. Not all the people, only a few. Not our chosen leaders, but those Rome appointed. You speak with great daring. I speak what I believe, Excellency. The Nazarene was a kind and gentle man, a learned teacher, a man of truth. Such men I honor as best I can. I have a tomb, my own, new and unused. If Your Excellency would permit, I... Let him have the body. And 
Joseph of Arimathea took the body of Jesus to a new tomb, hewn from solid rock. And two women watched, Mary, who was the mother of Jesus, and Mary, who came from Magdala. And the chief priests came once more to the procurator. The man was condemned and executed. What do you want now? Sir, we remember while that imposter was still alive, he said, after three days, I will rise again. <laughs> do you think that he can? Certainly not. But he has deluded the masses before, and his followers may have plans to steal him away and tell the people he has risen from the dead. And the last fraud will be worse than the first. And what do you suggest that I should do? Order that the tomb be made secure until the third day. Centurion, order an officer and men enough for the task. Now you have a guard of soldiers. Go, make it as secure as you can. Our most sincere appreciation, Your Excellency, and that of my Lord Caiaphas. was made secure to the satisfaction of those who had demanded it. And a guard was placed by it to watch over it. Better go no farther. You, you mean you stay here with your men? Orders, I thought you knew. No. Caiaphas, I did. He assumes all soldiers can be bribed. Well, I've done harder jobs for the Empire. Me too. More than I foresaw when I received my first pile of Gladius. That's a long time back for both of us. Long time. A lot of marches, good many scars. You know something? Mm. Life on a farm of one's own might not be so unbearable in Tuscany or Umbria or the Valley of the Po. Together. You tremble, that was all. No, no, the figure. What figure? Uh, I, I don't know. One with shining robes so bright, I, I was dazzled then. I... Pilot will never believe this. You'll have to. When all your men tell the same story, get them ready. I'll go with you. Perhaps I should leave one or more of my men here. To guard what? An empty tomb. Anything suspicious? Pairs of soldiers patrolling the streets. None so much as looked up. I'll stand guard for a while. You'd better get some sleep. Thank you, Thomas. I couldn't. I thought I couldn't either. But once I'd stretched out and closed my eyes. I close my eyes, I see too many things. I know. I see them too. You do? The hills of Galilee, waters of Gennesaret, the way the master used to smile. I see men in the courtyard. Courtyard of Annas. 
Why? Do you remember the last time we dined with the master? I'll never forget it. How he said you will all fall away. For it is written, I will strike the shepherd and the sheep will be scattered. Yes. And I told him that even if all the others deserted, I would not. You remember what he said then? I, I'm not sure I recall it. He said this very night, before the cock crows twice, you will deny me three times. And I promised him that even if I had to die with him, I would never deny him. You had more courage than the rest of us. You tried to prevent his arrest. You were the only one who followed when they took him away. Yes, I followed. To the courtyard of Annas. The gate was open and I went in and mingled with the guards. So you told us. It was a daring thing to do. I didn't tell you all that happened. One of the women's servants brought wine for the guards. She looked at me and she said, you were with the Nazarene in the temple. And I said she was mistaken, that I didn't know the man. Later, when she came back for the empty cups, she looked at me again. She said to the guards, he is one of them. Again, I lied, saying I, I didn't know a rabbi named Jesus. Not far away, a rooster crowed. And then the guards came to me. I said they could tell by my northern accent that I was from Galilee. And I said, may a curse fall upon me if I know him of whom you speak. And the words were hardly out of my mouth. when the cock crowed a second time. The sky is beginning to lighten. What was that? The women must be awake. You're not going out. But it's dangerous. You might be seen, recognized. Whatever the errand, let me go for you. We go on a mission for women, to the tomb. No. No, you mustn't. This is the third day. My son's body must be anointed. We'll go with you. Wait till I wake the others. No, Peter. If you insist. I wrapped my son in his first swaddling clothes. Now I must. Be very careful. We hear there are soldiers guarding the tomb. I know. They may have orders to arrest all followers of the Nazarene. He is dead, Peter. What can they do to us now?
very early on the first day of the week, when the sun had risen, the women went unto the tomb, bearing spices that they might anoint him. I wonder who will roll away the stone for us. Perhaps the soldiers will. Look! They've taken it away. Do not be amazed. You seek Jesus of Nazareth who was crucified. He is risen. He is not here. See the place where they laid him. Go. Tell his disciples and Peter that he is going before you to Galilee. There you will see him as he told you. told all that they had seen and heard to the apostles. But their words seemed to the men an idle tale, and they did not believe them. It's impossible, impossible. They don't know what they're saying. They're worn out, tired. We should never have let them go without us. The shock of finding the body stolen, the tomb empty. If it is empty. Well, they couldn't have been mistaken about that. Hardly. They've been under a great strain, grief-ridden, sleepless. They thought they heard the voice, but they must have seen the empty sepulcher. Perhaps. Well, they may have gone to a wrong tomb by mistake. Always the doubter. Is it a sin to be certain? I'll go to the tomb. I'll go with you. Alone. There's no use of endangering two men. what the women thought they heard could come true. Peter went alone unto the tomb. Looking in, he saw the linen cloths by themselves. Wondering at what had happened, he went away. On the evening of that day, the first day of the week, they were together except for Thomas, who was not with them. If the authorities are seeking us, they'll be guarding every gate. And all the roads to Galilee. Well, we could go one or two at a time, mingle with the crowds going home from the feasts. And if one was caught, they'd comb the city till all the rest were found. Yes. No, we'll stay here until they relax their vigilance. Oh, I agree. I no, yes. I still think that we ought to... Well, that's my know. suggestion. If any of you have a better plan... Peace be with you. The hordes of visitors left the city, and Thomas went to nearby Bethany to tell Lazarus of the apostles' plans to return to Galilee. Martha, Lazarus, a guest is coming. Welcome, Thomas, a thousand welcome. Thank you. How good to see you, my friend. My house is yours. We've been so worried about you and the others. They're in no danger? They're alive? Come, sit down. I'll get you some honeyed wine. Just a cup of cool water will be fine. Now, the others are safe and in good health. The 
except for Judas. You heard that he'd taken his own life? We heard. But why did he betray the master? Why? I don't know. None of us could guess. Thank you. More? Please. It's a hot and dusty walk from the city. Thomas. Yes? For five, six days, we've been hearing whispers, rumors that Jesus... That Jesus is not dead. That he's risen from his grave as he prophesied. Are they true? Is that what you've come to tell us? There are those who say they have seen him, spoken to him. Then it is true. I... I don't know. Well, who are the people? Where did they see him? Cleophas and his friends swear they walked with the master on the road to Emmaus. Cleophas is a man of honor. Who are the others? Peter, Andrew, all the others who've traveled with him these past three years. Jesus is alive. He does live. I was not there when he appeared to them. I, I didn't see him. But you can't doubt them. Not your friends, his disciples. All my life, since I was a small boy, I've been called skeptic, doubter. Unless I have seen or, or touched or heard for myself. But you saw him return life to my dead body. You heard him say that it was by the power of God. You know it was done for me. How could you doubt that it could be done for the master? I want to believe. I want to with all my heart. And yet... Thomas, come in. We've been waiting for you. Did everything go well in Bethany? Yes, I gave our farewells to Lazarus and his sisters. Told them of our plans. Good. Lazarus wanted to come back with me. You didn't let him. No, I... I told him that his name was too closely linked with the Masters, that he should stay away from the city. You did well. He insisted he's coming early tomorrow, with the merchants bringing their goods to the markets. Why should he take such a risk? Yes, why? He, he cannot wait to hear from you, all of you, everything you can tell him of, of what you saw. Well, why wasn't he satisfied with what you told him? Surely that should be enough. Because I could only say, they have seen, but I have not. But if you convinced him, you know the Master has risen, lives again. I could not say I know. Unless I see in his hand the prints of nails and, and place my finger in the marks of the nails and place my hand in his side, I, I will not believe. Peace be with you. Lord, Thomas, come to me. Put your finger here and see my hand. Put out your hand and place it in my side. Do not be faithless, but believing. My Lord and my God, have you believed because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish in life.